All right, guys, welcome to Air Farm. My name is Brother Asante. Living in Canada for 21 years because of the passion for farming, I moved to Ghana, you know, to do my farming. Uh, I was here last year, June, with all my family, moving to Ghana just to do farming because I love farming. Where I am, I can have that land. So here I have a land, I have to do that. So if you are outside or you are in Ghana, anywhere in Africa, you love farming, you have to get into it, you know? Now, farming is a business. It's not like the olden days when our grandfathers and our grandmothers did, right? Farming is a business. What are we talking about today? Today, we are talking about rabbit breeding. But before we get into the deepest part of rabbit breeding, today, I will only talk about the skill. What skill are you in in rabbit farming? So you know where you are. And if you want to improve, you can, you know, improve in your rabbit farm. All right. So stay tuned. I'll be right back and I'll continue with what I'm talking about today. All right, guys, uh, welcome back. Um, we are talking about rabbit breeding and also what skilled are you in in rabbit farming? What skilled are you in in rabbit farming? There are four types of rabbit farm. Four types of rabbit farm or four skilled in rabbit farm. We have the backyard rabbit farming, uh, small scale rabbit farming, medium scale rabbit farming, and large scale rabbit farming. We have backyard rabbit farming, small scale rabbit farming, medium scale rabbit farming, and large scale farming. That is what we are talking about today. First, let's talk about backyard rabbit farming. What is backyard rabbit farming? Backyard rabbit farming, the whole unit capacity is only three to, let's say six, and one buck. That's backyard rabbit farming. And in backyard rabbit farming, you don't have to spend so much on concentrate feed. You can just give them Kitchen, kitchen waste or you can give them um, just any leaves that rabbit eat or you can give them hay it's a it doesn't really cost much in um, uh, backyard rabbit farming and backyard rabbit farming the production rate is like five to eight fryers monthly five to eight fryers monthly that's backyard rabbit farming all right now let's go to small scale rabbit farming in small scale rabbit farming the operation capacity um, dough is 30 unit dough. 30 unit dough. And there's a one buck. 30 unit dough. That's small scale rabbit farming. So right now, I am in the small scale rabbit farming because right now I have 30 unit dough. 30 unit dough I have in here. So we are in small scale rabbit farming. And in small scale rabbit farming, you can be your own labor use yourself as a uh, labor for the farm and also with that you can also feed them on forage also on concentrate feed and the production rate or the production rate for small scale farming is producing from 50 to 60 fryers monthly 50 to 60 fryers monthly and with this, um, I know it's a little bit of money in it because you have, you have about um, 30 doughs and that you have to you know feed. And then uh, also you are producing from 50 to uh, 60 fryers every month. So that's uh, small scale rabbit farming. The next thing is uh, medium scale rabbit farming. Medium scale rabbit farming. Medium scale rabbit farming, the operation capacity unit is 60 to 80 doughs, 60 to 80 doughs. That is medium scale rabbit farming. And in the medium scale rabbit farming, because you have about 60 to 80 doughs, um, I don't think you can give them forage or you can um, go into the bush and you know go get different kind of leaves and give it to them. It's gonna be too much for you because you are medium scale. You have to hire one person, one labor for the farm that, you know, can help you um, feed your rabbits. The producing capacity is from 
100 fryers to 120 fryers 100 fryers to 120 fryers a uh, monthly 100 to 120 fryers monthly that means that your rabbits they are producing they are giving you um kittens like from 100 to 120 then you are in the medium scale rabbit farming you are in the medium scale rabbit farming when your rabbits start giving you that kind of fries monthly and now let's go to the last one the last one is the large scale rabbit farming as well in the large scale rabbit farming also operation capacity dough unit is from 100 to 150 100 to 150 dough units that is a large scale rabbit farming large scale rabbit farming and also you have to feed the rabbit strictly on concentrate feed mash or pellet concentrate feed mash or pellet between the medium and the large and the backyard and the small scale is that in the medium and the large you have to adopt the nipple system that you give your rabbit water through the nipple system all right but if also if you're in the small scale and you want to adopt that like now i adopt that because i want to uh you know give them water and also if i put let's say vitamins or costiosis uh, medicine they can just go through the but i'm still in the um, small scale rabbit farm so you can also do that in your farm and it will help you a lot so we are talking about large scale and it's from 100 to 150 dough unit 100 to 150 dough unit 100 to 150 dough units and you are feeding rabbit uh, strictly on mash and also pellet mash pellet large scale rabbit farming you adopt the nipple system and also large scale rabbit farming is when you are producing when you are producing from 200 to 300 fries monthly 200 to uh, 300 fries monthly that is large scale rabbit farming all right guys so these are the skills in rabbit farming that i want you to know so that you know where you are in your rabbit farming because i know that you want to get somewhere in this rabbit farming all right so today i'm only talking about the skill the four skills in rabbit farming for you to know where you are in your rabbit farming and know that now you know where you are in your rabbit farming so if you are doing a backyard rabbit farming and you want to improve you will improve to the uh small scale rabbit farming or you are in the small scale rabbit farming you want to improve you can also go into the medium scale rabbit farming you know the capacity so that you can get there and then you can get to the last point that is the large scale rabbit farming where you've been producing large quantity of rabbit in months right Alright, so this is all I want to bring you today. Uh, subscribe to our channel. I want you to like our channel. I want you to comment our channel. I want you to share the channel to other people for them also to watch. You know, I want the youth in Africa to love farming. You don't sit at home and say you're looking for a job from the government. My friend, the government cannot hire everybody. So if you have passion for farming, get into any type of farming either um poultry either the rabbit farming you can get into it you can even buy male goats and two female goats and within a year they can produce so much that my friend you'll be surprised buy two rabbits and see in six months how many babies they will give it to you so i want you to get into rabbit farming it is one of the easiest farm and it doesn't take much space that you can also do so I want to thank you all. Thank you very much. And I want to say bye-bye. I will see you next time in rabbit breeding.